kidney disease has reached epidemic proportions in the UK, leading to 50,000 people requiring treatment for kidney failure each year. A staggering £3.66 billion of the NHS's annual budget was spent on treating kidney patients last year. Both these figures are said to rise due to a severe shortage of registered donors. Currently, 90% on the organ donor register are waiting for a kidney, but only 2,500 kidney transplants are carried out each year, leading to hundreds of unnecessary deaths. Now, a world-first breakthrough made by Kidney Research UK scientists could dramatically change the way kidney transplants are carried out, making them last longer and reducing the size of the transplant waiting list. We've developed a new process called normothermic perfusion. It's never been done before and uses a special machine to resuscitate kidneys taken from deceased organ donors prior to transplantation. Normally when a kidney is removed from the body, it's transported in ice. It's damaged because it's being deprived of oxygenated blood. Further damage is then caused when the kidney is transplanted into its intended recipient. And this is because of the shock of reintroducing it to the circulatory system. What normothermic perfusion allows us to do is to gradually reintroduce blood flow to the kidney in a controlled way and outside of the body. It also offers us a unique opportunity to treat the kidney with anti-inflammatory drugs and other treatments before going on to complete the transplant procedure. By creating the optimum conditions for transplantation, this Kidney Research UK funded project could increase the lifespan of kidneys taken from deceased donors, which currently only last around 10 to 15 years. Normothermic perfusion could also significantly reduce the number of patients on the transplant waiting list by increasing the NHS's use of donors whose kidneys are discarded because of questions over their quality. There's huge potential to expand the organ donor register and decrease the burden on the transplant waiting list by using more kidneys from marginal donors. These are people, they're donors who've suffered uncontrolled cardiac death, as well as elderly donors and those who have diabetes, hypertension or renal insufficiency. What normothermic perfusion allows us to do is perform a crucial viability check on these kidneys, placing them on a circuit and pumping them with blood to confirm whether or not they function adequately enough to be used for transplantation. Deborah Fielding is the first person in the world to have received a transplant that's undergone normothermic perfusion. Diagnosed with kidney disease in her 20s, she spent most of her life waiting for her kidneys to fail. I got the call for um, that there was a kidney here in Leicester for me in December 2010. When I arrived at the hospital, the professor um, talked me through the actual process of the kidney transplant itself, but also the new procedure that he hoped to use on the particular kidney prior to transplantation. As he was speaking to me, I thought, well, I trust you, I trust my, you know, your judgment, and if, it, if you think the time is right to try it out on somebody, then you know, let's go ahead, let's do it. There was actually another um, kidney available for another recipient that evening, um, same donor, um, same damaged kidney, but that individual didn't have the benefit of having their kidney perfused. So it was interesting to see the comparisons of our blood figures and our results and so forth, and it did actually prove that my kidney, alongside a kidney that hadn't had the new process, was actually performing much better. The difference the transplant has made has been absolutely amazing. Um, my family will tell you, you know, I've got, I've got freedom and so forth now. And the, the help that the Kidney Research um, UK has done, and of course the donor and the donor's family, to give me this opportunity of a new normal life is just beyond gratitude. 51-year-old Nigel Parker was diagnosed with renal failure after suffering a brain hemorrhage and also has a kidney that's undergone normothermic perfusion. His second transplant, after the first failed in late 2010. My transplant worked up until 2010 Christmas. I was put forward for another transplant in July. It was then that I was told about the new project. I had absolutely no problems with the new procedure. I'm just grateful to have a new kidney. I'm living proof of the fact that transplants don't last forever and don't much fancy the idea of going back on dialysis again. It's good to know because of the work that the Kidney Research UK have done for my new kidney has got the best possible chance of it working longer and will last me a long time. Normothermic perfusion could dramatically improve the prospects of transplant patients in the UK. 
by increasing the success rate and longevity of transplants and enabling more organs from marginal donors to be used in transplant procedures. The process also has applications in the field of gene and stem cell therapy, as it offers doctors a way to treat the kidney outside of the body. Clearly, the benefits of this project are many. All that's needed now is additional funding to help Kidney Research UK take normothermic perfusion onto clinical trials and beyond.